Meghalaya leader of opposition Dr. Mukul Sangma today alleged that Chief Minister Konrad Sangma and Power Minister James Sangma tried to derate investigation into the SS network scam by transferring the inspectors investing the case. He also alleged that the duo tried to destroy evidence and forced the police to submit an incomplete charge sheet in court. It may be noted that over 10 people were arrested in the Internal Revenue Service call center scam in Meghalaya. A company called IFA had allegedly used SS network premises owned by the Chief Minister and Power Minister to train youths from the state to impersonate IRS officers and trick American citizens. During the raid, in the month of August, what has happened? There has been preliminary, preliminary interrogation, seizing of various materials, which includes various gadgets, including various related communication correspondence like uh, various incriminating papers which were part of the scripts which were designed to be uh, part of the your those uh, scripts to be uh, provided to the trainees and related to IRS you know what is IRS uh, that is uh, internal revenue services of United States of America now what was the thing that was alleged to have been happening there is that the bulk SMSs are sent to the targeted citizens of United States of America particularly the non-resident Indians and they are reminded of their discrepancies in respect of their tax returns and relevant penal action which can be proceeded against them as per the law and then they are asked to call back to certain number which were dealt by these people who are trained to receive the call and then impersonate as IRS officials so the people were trained to be capable of impersonating IRS officials. IRS. IRS. Now, you are talking about this level of criminal activities that was designed to be committed by this youth. And so some of the youth ran away. And that's how we got the tip. And that's how the whole process, the resultant arrest and other things happen. Now, this case, while being investigated, these officers concerned have been transferred. I came to know recently. That's why I'm telling it now. Because they are tampering on the whole process of law. Because police officers are part and parcel of the administration of justice. They cannot be taken in isolation as officers who are responsible only for the purpose of maintaining daily law and order related issues. Whether it's an uh, issue of completing the investigation and charge sitting in relation to crime against women, crime against children, and this kind of high profile cases. Now, this particular case relates to a case that has happened in the premises of SS Netcom, of whose honor you all know. It includes Mr. Conrad Sangma, it includes Mr. James Sangma and their family members. And they have tempered upon the whole process of investigation and they have tried to force the police to submit incomplete charge sheet in the court without even completing investigation, without even going through the proper investigation to verify what are those available uh, data and information in the seized laptops and seized gadgets and all the transcripts. Who are the mastermind? Therefore, it's a dangerous case. It's a dangerous case only not only because of its international ramification, but also because it involves training of our youth to become criminals and engage in criminal activities.